When it comes to playing in the backcountry, the smoothness of the Yamaha motor, along with the smoothness of the Yamaha clutching, proves itself to be one way to play around an adventure in the backcountry. Today I was out on the uh, Yamaha XTX for 2016 and uh, spent quite a bit of time uh, riding this model. Um, you can see it in the uh, background, it's in the Yamaha Racing White and Red from the 70s on their motorcycles. And this sled is, uh, is uh, equipped with the premium shock package. So you get the Fox Evolve shocks on the, uh, on the front suspension and the Fox Float 3s uh, in the skid frame. And it's a 141 inch Cobra track with the uh, Genesis three cylinder engine. Um, Tuner three skis, new for 2016. It's a very stiffly uh, sprung sled, so it's made for, for, for really aggressive riding. Um, grand uh, Yamaha clutching uh, on, on this model. Um, and uh, chassis wise, uh, you know, it's got the cutouts, the big cutouts in the running board, so a lot of great snow evacuation. Uh, great in the deep powder, you get tons of torque on the bottom end, and uh, got the, uh, the high riser with the center uh, grab strap, so you can really do a lot of good side hilling, um, twisting through the trees, and uh, if you're running you know, out to your favorite playground, you can really blast down the trails, it corners well, um, so you just have to really play with the air pressure, they're very sensitive to the air pressure setting. Uh, to get these sleds dialed in. If you've got too much air in it, and I'm talking one or two PSI over, you know, what should work for your body weight with all your gear on, you'll find the sled is very difficult, very hard to steer. So you really have to spend a little bit of time at the beginning of the year, experiment, set up the air pressure in the front shocks and in the back, and then once you get it set with the right amount of sag when you, you know, for the initial ride in, um, you're going to be real happy with it. So in the snow, I mean, it, the, you know, you hit the throttle, uh, uh, it lifts the front end up great, uh, um, doesn't trench a lot. The, 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 the Cobra track, of course, gives you that little extra bite over a ripsaw. So yeah, it's really good in the, uh, in, uh, you know, adequate deep snow.